Hey, this is Nathan from SoundIron. Today I'm going to walk you through how to import non-player libraries into Contact 7. Native Instruments has made it possible to import non-player libraries, which is awesome for us here at SoundIron because we have over 150 non-player products. To import a non-player library, simply click the Settings Cog icon in the bottom left corner. Then click Add and point contact to your library folder. I'm using Axe Machina. At this point, your non-player library is in contact and ready to go. However, there are two more things you can do depending on how much you care about the aesthetic and searchability. The first one is to get artwork for your non-player library. You'll need to grab the product poster from our website by right-clicking and doing Save Image As, and then name it mst underscore artwork dot png. You'll need to navigate to this folder then create a new folder inside with your library name. Then just put the MST artwork PNG inside. At this point, your non-player library has artwork in it in Contact 7. The next step if you're feeling brave is to add tags for better searchability. Right now you have to do this with Complete Control or Machine Software. We'll close Contact and open up Complete Control. Make sure that Axe Machina appears in your user content folder so that the NKI presets appear. Then we'll shift click and select all of them and tag them with the appropriate tags. When you're done with this, click apply, then remove complete control and open contact seven again. The last thing you'll have to do is click the settings cog icon and remove Axe Machina from your list and then re-add it. This will make the appropriate tag show up. Now, is this the most streamlined thing we've ever seen? No, it is not. Is it better than nothing? Yes, it is. So we're hoping that Native Instruments continues to improve this feature in future updates. That's all for now. Please subscribe here for more videos like this, and we'll talk to you soon.